Well, you know, if there's one thing I like to come back to, it's a very active chat. Hey, everybody. How's it going? My name is Ron Megarana. This is Megaron TV. Please excuse me. I'm a little bit out of breath. Just coming back from running down the stairs. I'm going to pull my microphone just a little bit closer. Master Steak! Holy cannoli! 11 months in a row. Thank you for the resub, buddy. How are you doing today? Appreciate ya. Uh, today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. <clears throat> we're going to be reading minds. A thing that I think I have the ability to do in real life, but in actuality do not. Uh, we're going to be playing the game Mind Scanners. I uh, don't really know much about this game other than what it says on the box, which is you scan the minds. So be prepared for that. Uh, it said, I think there was like a content warning at the beginning that was like, this is fiction. Like, don't take anything of it too seriously or anything like that. Um, also of note, today is Friday, which means it's it's Friday, but also it's the last Friday of the month, which means that today at two o'clock Eastern time, so in about two hours, we are going to be playing What's Left of Us with our friends, uh, Zoe B, Jay Corn, Thought Slime, Starfish Face, and Wild Jinx. And if you would like to join in on that fun, all you have to do is type in command what's left of us, or W-L-O-U rather, and you can get this big old box that just pops up and gives you a description of what's going on. Because after months of doing this, literally over half a year, I finally realized I should have a command for this. So now, again, you type an exclamation point, W-L-O-U, or W-L-U, it'll pop up and you can, you can see how to join us and get a rundown of who's in the game and everything. Yes. So, yeah, finally, it only took seven months. We've only been doing this since February. What can I say? I'm uh, a little bit slow on the uptake, so sorry about that. But anyway, any way you want it, uh, that's the way you need it, any way you want it, etc., etc. Let me uh, turn down my volume over here because it seems like it might be a tad loud we'll turn it down to like about here that sounds good you're eh can't really complain but eh i'm sorry to hear that master stick i hope that this game maybe helps you feel a little bit better Bloop. i might also uh, end up broadcasting the uh the stream today because jaycorn it sounds like it's going to be moving over to youtube we did a little bit of a test run yesterday, and it went pretty well. So if uh, if all goes according to plan, we will probably be moving over there. Um, otherwise, I'm doing pretty well. Pretty, thank you for asking. Pretty pretty well. I got to have Taco Bell this morning, and that's always a uh, you know, that's always a, uh, a plus in my book. So yeah. All right, we are going to. I I don't know like what kind of music is in this game, so we're just gonna pause the music for now. And I'm also going to turn this music down behind me. Okay, ready for YouTube? I'm at Twitch today. What did Twitch do to you today, Sly? What did Twitch do? Was this a mutiny? No, it's not a mutiny. Mind Scanners is a work of fiction. It is intended for entertainment purposes only. If you need guidance related to mental health, please seek a professional. That's what it says. That's the, the content warning. Little ants. It didn't tell me you were going... Really? 
Huh. Well, leave it to Twitch to be a butthole, huh? I'm a professional at stuff, sort of, maybe. Yeah, you totally are. Um, I don't know. I don't think this has controller capabilities. Okay. So we're going to be doing this mouse and keyboard. I'm going to be looking very awkward this whole time because uh, I uh, I have a kind of a precarious setup here. But let's get started. I feel like I've seen this game before. You probably have. It was pretty popular a few months ago. I don't know anything about it. Greetings, citizen. As you are well aware, your daughter is now in the care of the structure. She has been placed in a quarantine at the Zignaka Institute as she has shown signs of a highly contagious mental illness. Details of her condition are classified, but we assure you that she's in good hands. For normality in the mind, the structure. Okay. You're always awkward, I should know, because I am too. Yeah, fair, fair. Request to visit your daughter, denied. To access the Zignaka. That's gotta be not pronounced that way. Institute, you must be a mind scanner with a level 3 citizenship. We understand your concern, but there is no need to worry. For your inconvenience, your daily maintenance is reduced by two kapok, the structure. Wee -dee 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 -dee. Congratulations! You've been accepted to the Mind Scanners program. Enclosed is the needed equipment for your job. This includes a radio phone through which you will receive further instructions. The constructor thanks you for your service. For normality in the mind, the structure. Zignaka, I think that was the name of the old Texas offensive lineman in the mid, early mid aughts. I will take your word for that. Well, this is the game. I hope you're uh, enjoying it. I am. Um, I guess I gotta click down here. Oh, this is a papers please game. Greetings, mind scanner. Your duty is to diagnose and treat anomalous citizens of the structure. Okay. For each completed treatment, you will receive 15 kapok. If you can't pay maintenance at the end of each day, you will be exiled from the structure and thrown into the outer zone. Okay. This map of the structure shows citizens who have shown signs of strange behavior. Look, a citizen is in need of attention. Go pay him a visit. Okay. Old Hanson Park, the oldest park in the structure, and the home of many strange creatures. Take a step inside the outside. Let's go. Rudger is a true nature enthusiast. He knows every tree in the structure and is the chief conservator of the Triangle Park. Lately, he has become more connected with nature. In fact, he believes he is an oak tree. Interesting. Swoosh. Swoosh. Okay. I don't think I've seen this one with the papers. Yeah, it's uh it definitely seems like the it's kind of a papers please kind of game. Insanity types three. Personality bar, stress bar. I assume this is all my money and the time that I have. Okay. The citizen has already been scanned. His insanity amount and insanity types are displayed here. Okay. Start treatment and remove his insanity before the time runs out. Okay, so let's do a uh, treatment, I guess. What, what? So, okay, so what then? Was what, what does this do? I don't know what it does. Cool. That's great that that did that, right? So we got two more. Uh, Book of Lunacy. Choose any insanity type. Press the big button. Uh, oh. Oh, I have to pick the thing. Okay. I see now. I understand. And that's this one over here for the next one. There we go. Time to find out how Ron treats trees. I'm definitely a tree hugger. I don't know about Ron. Well, I mean, I would hug him too, but his name is Rudger Hoof. That name kind of slaps. Yeah, I might have to steal that one for, for my campaign. 
We completed the treatment. Yay. $15 reduce. I'm not an oak tree. No, that's sort of silly, isn't it? I guess I spent too much time with the vegetation. I better go visit my friends again. Thank you. Thank you so much. No problem, tree man. See you later. Good job, mind scanner. As mind scanning is fairly new, the technology is still being tested. But rest assured, our methods are highly effective. Okay. No more citizens require your attention today. Get some rest and continue tomorrow. Okay. End of day one. Maintenance. Negative 6k. Okay. Yeah, same. Your daughter is trapped in a room. You try to unlock the room, but the key breaks. She screams. Apparently, I'm having a dream. You can tell because the text is all wavy. Now we get to go meet Hudger Roof. Yeah. Three citizens require your attention. Choose a citizen and perform the mind scan to unravel their insanity. Remember, you take full responsibility for their diagnosis. Okay. I love being an amateur doctor. Uh, let's go with this guy. He's right over here. A successful, uh, one of the three founders of Delta Corp. Florian is a specialist in senses, but lately his wife has expressed concern about his behavior, describing him as detached. Let's travel there. Oh man, that's a while away. 35 seconds. Woo. Welcome doctor. I sensed your arrival hours ago. Let's begin. Okay, let's do a mind scan, first and foremost. Okay, doctor, so I'll tell you what I see on the screen. Hope you can make sense of it. Let's begin. Okay. Mom, always so worried about me. So many tears, so much struggle to make one kid happy. She was a sweetheart, but she did not sense the world around her. Wasted away your life for me. Um, bu -bu -bu -bu. Make one kid happy, she was a sweetheart, but did not make sense... Did not sense the world around her. Wasted away her life from me. Values, tears, opposites. Um, I'm going to say it's this one. This man's a block of cheese. Yeah. I hope that was correct. My wife, Allison, she's crying. She cries often. 0 0.87 of her tears are salt. Uh, that's going to be lack of empathy. Oh, good. So that's, I missed the first one. An endless desert. A lone cactus is pier piercing the red sand a couple of kilometers away. A single flower sprouts from it. Even though it's far away, I can clearly smell the sweetness of the flower. Nice sense of smell. Yay! Mathematician, eh? Yeah, yeah. Millions of people walking around the, walking the streets of the structure, not paying attention to anything around them. They're blind. They're deaf. They have no taste. We need to wake them up. We need to wake them up. We need to heighten their senses. Um, well, knock her up. What the hell does that mean? Idealistic. Yes. Heightened senses come with a price. Though Florian wouldn't hurt a fly, he constantly hurts people's feelings. There's no egoistic reason behind his lack of empathy. His emotions have simply disappeared. Ah. I feel like that makes him... Hmm. I feel like that makes him... I feel like insane is too extreme of a title. But I feel like it does make him mentally ill. Because I think that's the, uh, that's like a, a sign of like, well, it's detachment for sure, but like, I'm going to say insane, but I don't, yeah, I'm going to say that. Sensumania apathia. Okay, about five. He's a higher level of insanity. One of the three founders of Delta... Oh, we already read that. Um, okay. So let's, uh, let's close that then. Awaiting treatment. Initializing insanity panel. Okay. Initializing stress bar. Great. What kind of insane cheese do you know? A lot of insane cheeses. 
There's a lot of sharp cheeses out there. I don't trust them with nothing. Okay. Patient stats initialized. I think they're probably going broad boxes in this game. I think so too. Okay, ready for his treatment. I've sensed some truth in your decision, Doctor, but I also sense destruction and misery in your devices. Be careful with my mind. It's worth more than you could ever fathom. Okay. Your psychotron treatment device seems to be unstable. Avoid the red areas or you will stress your patient. Patient, Ethan. If you want to develop another device, use the left panel to access device manager. Oh, okay. That's probably a good idea. Choose device that matches the insanity treatment. Okay, uh, so we got this guy. Let's develop that. Moves up three in a row of that type. So this one, we set the hertz, fill up the meter, set the area, turn it on, offset the light type, and set the rhythm. That's a lot of shit to do. And then what's the other one? This guy. Uh... This guy. I need 10 more dollar dues for that. That's annoying. Okay, well. Yeah, I definitely can't afford any of these. So what button <laughs> stabs him and gets his fired immediately? I don't know that button. Treatment. Oh, he has five types of insanity. Of course. Of course he does. Why wouldn't he? Are you sure this thing's safe? Sure as sure can be, buddy. Let me tell you, sure as sure can be. Turn on the device. Boop. Turn on the left eye. Left eye. Turn off the device. Oh. Okay. Turn on the mouth. Turn off the left eye. Flip the on-off switch seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hey, look at that. We did it. We beat it. Change the type of light to zero. Oh, whoops. Um, how do I how do I do that? Is that fifty thousand? Uh how do I I don't need this device anymore. I no longer need this device. Can I turn it off, please? I need to get rid of the device. How do I set this? How do you want me to do this? I guess this? Okay, turn on the right eye. Why do I need to do this still? <laughs> Can I remove this? Pretty please. No, I don't want it anymore. Okay, we got this guy. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Um, this guy. Yes, that's the one. Oh, I gotta wait for it to blink. There we go. I got it. I got it. Here we go. Okay. And we fixed it. Are you sure this is safe? It's my first day, so no. <laughs> not really. Treatment complete. Yay. We wasted most of the day on this guy. Doctor, I can feel again. Ha! <laughs> what good sense is, what good are senses if you can't feel anything in your heart? You know, that's true, Florian. That's very true. I I'm sorry, Allison. Everyone, I've been acting like an asshole and I didn't see it. Thank you, doctor. He can feel now? Now stab him. No, no, I'm not going to stab him. Maeve is a guru, a wise old cyborg. Children receive lessons from her as a form of school, but she refuses definition. the definition. Uh, parents are worried that her lessons are moving in a sinister direction or this. Oh, my God. There's no chance. I can't reach either of those guys, really. But I guess I'll go to her. I did not do... This is the problem. I have ADD, and my time management is not very good. As I predicted, you came today. I wonder what part of the future your machine will let me see. Future? Yes. Sometimes I see glimpses of the future. I'm wise, yes? But the visions are the main reason that I share my thoughts. People need to know. The children of the structure need to learn about their future. Okay. Who is that Redditor up there? I don't know. Alright, let's do a mind scan on you. This is the being who is controlling everything. Exactly as I envisioned. Call it God if you'd like. Uh, okay. So we're gonna say perceptive? Yes. A modification of brain cells connecting the gap between flesh and machine. Fascinating. It's so obvious. We need this. All of us. Transhumanist, I believe. 
Yes. Yes, yes. Somewhere in the outer zone. Hmm. Curious. Mind scanning allows me to access the places access to places I've never heard of before. What beautiful plants and strange creatures. I'm gonna say you're imaginative. We all need delusion. Yeah, a little bit. Oh no, I was wrong. The system that maintains the structure supply of Kapok. Such a frail thing. Chaos could happen. Okay. I see the wall collapsed. What kept our people in a closed loop is now open to the world. I say go with it. Tear those walls down. Let us breathe real air. Critical of boundaries. Yay. Kapok? You mean Kapla? No. No, I meant Kapok. That's what it says. Kapok. Machine believes she can foresee the future. This leads to a loss of ego, which leads to loss of personal responsibility. Her teachings are a threat to the community. Insane in the membrane. Pro Proficentia. Okay. Awaiting treatment. Well, then let's get to the treatment. Thank you for showing me your instrument. Interesting machine. Very enlightening. Let's proceed to the next part. Shall we? Okay. So what do we got? We got this type, which is this guy. Treatment it is. Okay, turn off the device. Turn on the device. Set rhythm to two. How do I do that? Two? That's not the right one. It's a frequency of 5,500. How do I change the frequency? Oh, whoops. Did the wrong thing. Time's up. Your workday has ended. Citizen requires further treatment. Yes, she does. Sorry about that. Stab time? No, not yet. End of day two. What's the frequency, Kenneth? What is the frequency? <laughs> I don't understand. Message, message from Allison Bartok. Mr. My Florian is back. I've missed him so much, and now he's back. I don't understand how you did this, but thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. My delusion is being able to eat breakfast in peace without a cat. That is impossible. I want to give you something, so I sent you a free box of Florian's best product, Intellex. These pills will boost your intelligence. The only side effect is a couple of hours of fatigue. I'm going to swallow the pills, because I... <laughs> oh no, he swallowed all five pills with a glass of water. That seems like a terrible idea. You immediately feel sharp and new ideas blossom in your head. Plus 25 science. Okay. Need a little extra tutorial on how these machines work. They really do. Like, I wish they gave me like a little bit more time to like figure them out. After a quick rush, you begin feeling tired. You lie down and wake up a couple of hours later. Negative 50 time. Damn. Oh, well, that's going to cut into my time a little bit. We are keeping your daughter at the Institute for further examination. Letting her return home would be dangerous for her and everyone around her. She's doing well. You have nothing to worry about. She's an interesting subject. You should be proud. For normality and the mind, the structure. So you OD'd and got smarter? Good messaging there. Yeah, got smarter and took a long nap. <laughs> nothing like my real life at all. Why do I have to travel to her again? Got Gilbert, got Mandari. I'm going to go back to you because I got to finish you off real quick. Yeah, let's go back to you. Let's go back to Maeve. Just get this finished off real fast, okay? Sometimes in my visions, I see nothing. Perhaps it is the far future. I hope so. Okay, well, I'll tell you what, Maeve. I don't think it is, but we'll get you started on this so that we can get you all set up here. Frequency is 6,500. There we go. Flip the on-off switch nine times. One, two, three, four. There we go. Turn on the device. So you want me to do it 10 times? Okay. Okay, we're going to do this guy over here. Okay, we want to do uh, this dude. What the hell? Arg, I don't like this. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get it done as quickly as I can. Sorry. I 
I'm going to damage this person so badly. Okay, we got that one. We got this guy. This is all my years of Dead by Daylight coming in handy. Or not really. Okay, and then we got the last one, which is this guy. Which is this guy over here. Set rhythm to two. Okay, rhythm is set to uh, two. Turn off the device. Sure. Turn on the device. Set rhythm to three. Three. Okay, nice. We got you. Hey, you're only a little worse for wear. Sorry about that. Huh. Your treatment worked. My vision seems to have gone away. I did not predict this. Perhaps my visions were delusions after all. Though I must say, seeing the future was kind of handy. Yep, sorry about that, bud. Uh, okay, we got 13 seconds left, so we're going to go over to this guy who... We, we can't really do anything now. Like, what's the point? Do you want to end the day? Yeah, I can't go anywhere else, so I, I have to. We know that the structure is keeping your daughter from you. We can help you, and we believe you can help us as well. Just remember to take good care of your patients. Don't break the people. Break the structure. Moonrise. We have a rebellious group amongst us. Seems sus. Okay, well, we're gradually making more money. Just a little bit at a time. Greetings. Mind scanners have recently been contacted by the terrorist group known as Moonrise. These people seek to destroy our society and must be stopped. Have they contacted you? No. Hmm. Okay. If you receive a message from them, or any suspicious messages, you are obliged to tell us. We will make sure to protect you. For normality and the mind. The structure. I don't know who they're talking about. Uh, Gilbert has been missing for years and presumed dead. Somehow he's managed to disappear from society, but lately he has been spotted at the sewer entrance in the boots, as well as various cafes. Okay, well, we'll take care of you in a moment. Beset by overwhelming sadness, Kumara has quit her job and is rapidly running out of kappa. Her inability to pay maintenance is surely adding to her grief. Glenn has lost his father at an early age and since lived with his mother. He's a professional dancer at the Dome, but he has been neglecting his work since his mother passed a month ago. All right, we're going to go to you first, Kumara, because you are, uh, seem like you're in the most need. This other guy seems like he's playing vigilante, which, you know, that could turn into an issue, but... Woe is me. Woe is... Oh, hey. You here to cheer me up? Forget about it. I'm what they call inconsolable. Want me to spell that out for you? What's wrong? What isn't wrong? I feel empty. I don't see any reason to continue. Why go to work? Why even go outside? I'm, you know, down. Buddy, I feel you. Do a mind scan on you, though. It's all black on the screen, I mean... Or maybe it's supposed to be like that. Um, I'm going to say technical error. Nope. An ocean, deep and dark. The waves are crashing against a rocky shore. It's night. Not a comfortable picture, but a, not an ugly one either. Melancholia. This is my mother. She's no longer here. We used to have such fun spending each Sunday at Triangle Park. Misses her mother. So sad. I agree. Society is already a broken parent. What's the worst they could do? Yeah, yeah exactly. That's why I lie about... <laughs> that's why I told him I didn't get a message from them at all. Because I didn't get a message from them at all, okay? No, no message at all. I'm definitely not working to break down society. Why would I do that? <laughs> It's my usual morning commute on the Blue Rattler across the city. Blue Rattler across the city. From the boots to the ventures. Well, my previous commute, all that kind of stopped. Uh, past routine life. Kamara seems to be suffering from a general lack of purpose and drive. Her dark and depressive mindset makes her unfit for any jobs, and the maintenance clock is ticking. I'm going to say insane, because we're all crazy here. Tristalia, amount six types, these kind. Okay. The designer, awaiting treatment. What does this do? <gasps> there is a sort of journal. 
Wait, wait, wait. So, uh, well, oh, that's how you go back. You press back on the communist. No, no, no. I am an anarchist, my friend. Close, but not the same. All right. So if she has three in a row of this type. That'll be especially easy. Uh, this one's better for other things. It's a little bit effective. Uh, I mean, essentially they are the same thing to be fair. But uh, some of them get a lot more passionate about it. And I'm just like, whatever, dude. It's, if, when we get there, we get there. Let's just make sure we get there, you know? You think this darkness has something to do with my mind? Well, I won't disagree. But to be honest, I'm not sure what we can do about it. I don't hold out much hope. That's all. Yeah, I, I feel you. Can I buy more things? Buy more stuff. That's the exact problem with this game. Buy more stuff. Um, okay, let's see if we can do this one. I think I have enough for that. Retina decoder, recreate sequence, confirm sequence. Mirrors the soul of the patient through the eyes. Match the pattern to exactly the insanity from the soul. Use three eye buttons to match the sequence symbols of the patient's eye. Oh. Must construct additional pylons. Okay. Uh, might want to buy some drugs, too. Ignores stress, protects abnormality, pr protects personality, or removes insanity points. So let's maybe do... Uh... Mm. Okay. All right. We've spent a lot of our money, but that's okay. It's for the patients. Okay. Treatment time. Treatment time. Treatment time. Can we do the treatment of yours? I don't like this. I'm sorry. Okay. Let's do... Damn, this thing is breaking down quick. This guy. Oops. Sorry. All right, we got that taken care of. Got this guy here. There we go. Okay, nice, nice. Um, I'm going to throw this guy on so we can get that kind of in the way. Uh, okay, guys, yeah, one more time. Ah, crap. Upside down cross. C thing. Upside down cross. Crap. Okay, that one's really useful. Lady, apparently you are an all day thing. Okay. All right, well, we almost got you set up. Scan my mind. Ooh, okay. All right, Death on Two Legs, I'm scanning your mind right now. And you want to see the Rangers win their next game. Time's up. Your work day is ended. Okay, we will come back to them. Got to try out Call of Duty Vanguard. Let me know how it is, Master Steak. Maybe we'll play it sometime. How are you doing, though, uh, Tom? How, 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 how are you today? Keep your eyes open. When the time is right, we will talk again. Accept any birthday invitations. Okay. Going to a birthday. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm doing pretty well. Just uh, scanning people's minds. Uh, today's What's Left of Us. If you're not aware, I will put uh, the thing in here. Command W Lu. You can go and follow J Corn, and you can watch us play Dungeons and Dragons in just a couple hours. What time is it now? It's uh, it's quarter. It's it's quarter to one. 
So in about uh, 45 minutes, I'm going to take a short break so I can go and check in with them and be like, look, my camera is working. My microphone is working. And then you can all enjoy a little bit of silence for, for a couple of minutes. Um, and then I'll be, come back and we'll play this until about two o'clock and then we'll join uh, their stream. Um, he's going to be on YouTube probably. So go and follow him over there. And, uh, and yeah, we're going to play with, uh, with thought slime, Zoe B, uh, wild jinx and starfish face, all the people listed right on in there along with Jcorn TV. So, uh, so be there anyway, this, uh, this lady says it's raining and she is sad. Yes, it is. It's very sad. Very, very sad. What do we got left? We got these two. So we got, I think this guy. Yeah. Rhythm to zero. Okay. Change type of light to zero. Okay. This one. There we go. Turn off the device. Done. Okay. And then we'll bring this guy back. What we got? We got C. U. C. C. U. C. C. U. C. Cock. That link makes me think of the SpongeBob thing. Woo. Woo. I mean, it is essentially the same thing. When you think about Dungeons and Dragons. Happy. Be happy. Okay. I forgot to mention a minor side effect of your treatments. They sort of reduce the personality of your patients. Okay. Once the personality is completely removed, it can never be recovered. But no worries. You'll get paid either way. Their insanity is first priority. It must be removed at any cost. Okay. Just follow Jaycorn on YouTube. Nice. Do not listen to the structure. You need not. You need to take care of your patients. Do not remove their personality. Keep treating, but treat with care. Moonrise. Bad structure. Bad. Bad. Uh, let's see. We can go to Gilbert, or we can. No, we're gonna go to Gilbert because that gives us more time. Our resident superhero, Gilbert. <laughs> I don't have a personality to alter. Get wrecked. <laughs> Gilbert jumps from the shadows, shows his claws, and hisses. He's a total mess. Hiss. Be warned, above her. Beware of the rodent. Come too close, and you'll be torn to pieces. The rodent will bite you and give you the plague. I'll keep my distance. I am potato. Good, or you'll probably die. Hiss. <laughs> All right, let's do a mind scan on you really quick. The... The trash can. I, my classmates at school, they emptied it on my head. I was covered in filth for the rest of the day as the teachers did not allow me to go home. They all laughed so hard. <laughs> Bullied in school. Wonderful teachers. That's exactly what it was. Hot legs. Lava, lava. The rodent likes looking at legs from below, but the rodent ha never has visitors. The rodent is very lonely. Yes. Okay, you're lonely. Just like you said. Yes. Tapak man, my nemesis. He used to be my boss, always pushing me around. The rich bastard. One day, I will rip his cold heart and feed it to my rats. Yes. All right, vengeful thoughts. I love doing his voice. I used to do like the murder phase voice a lot. This lost soul claims to be a superhero named the rodent. After being bullied all through his life, he lives alone in the sewers, cut off from society. He has an aggressive attitude and is putting his own health at risk. He's insane in the membrane like the rest of us. Rodent, rodent atrum, antrum. Yes. Nine insanity, huh? We're going to take a little while with this guy. Okay. Let me just uh, move this just slightly. I don't quite know where to yet. But we'll put it like here. There we go. Waloo is the bright spot today. Waloo, waloo. Yes, yes. Waloo, waloo is definitely the bright spot. I'm glad that you're excited. Uh, I'm very excited as well. So who are you and why are you scanning said people's minds? I am a mind scanner and my daughter has been taken by the structure and deemed insane. And in order to see her, I need to reach a certain level of mind scanner. So I'm trying to get to level three so I can go and see my daughter and probably break her out or something, something of those of that nature. 
Uh, okay, this is all the treatment devices that we have. We're gonna get out of there. Yeah. You may speak the truth. You may speak truth about my diagnosis, but make no mistake. The rodent is here to stay. Hiss. Okay. All right, so let me see if I can make a thing for the cross doodad. Um, yeah, I think I got enough of that. Increase power. Attach to the larynx. This device transforms the insanity into frequencies and forces them out using vocal cords of the patient. Caution requires a steady hand. Turn the knobs to max power nice and easy. Okay, that seems like it's going to be difficult. But you know what? We'll give it a shot. Well, that's fucking dope. Not about your daughter, but the whole scanning minds. I know. It's great, right? Um, Can I close this? Yes, there you go. Okay. Uh, Close. Pretty please with sugar on top. Oh, I got to do the treatment first. Okay, we're going to try this out. Hey, look at that. We did it. What can I say? I got a steady hand. Oh, there we go. Open that mouth a little wider. <laughs> no, it's not that kind of game. <laughs> I swear. UTC. Boop. All right, got you on that one. CUC. There we go. Got it. Nice. Just need to do one more day with him and he'll be good. This is his personality, so we got to do something with that. This isn't requires more stuff. <laughs> he's got that. He's got those. The rodent DSL. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Disturbing. Perhaps you made Mandari happy again, but at what cost? She's no longer herself. Be aware. Your treatments are deeply flawed. I'm aware. I'm, I didn't realize when my scam becomes Nesifa. Today's news, there's a rising concern among our citizens as outer zoners continue to gather outside our city walls. Their intentions, their intention is still unknown. The gathering started six days ago, and today there is an estimated total of 3,000 outer zoners camping at the northern gates and the southern gates. The constructor spoke earlier today. I understand your worries, but I assure you we have the situation under control. Yeah, I wondered when I would get to a stream where people started with, like being like, oh, hey, we're going to be like pervy. And here we are. I'm okay with that. I, I think that's really funny when that shit happens. All right, we got to give this guy some personality meds, okay? The rodent special guest is here. Ish. All right, buddy. Well, I'll tell you what. We're going to give you some medication, okay? Does that sound good to you? Actually, can I, can I like put that in there? What do the drugs do? Where do the... Where are the drugs that I want to know what they do? Protects the personality of a person. Okay, I'm going to put this one here. It was insanity points. Blocks stress for some time. Okay, we're going to we're going to keep this one here because I would like to I don't want to give them all 5 at once. I want to give them one. Okay, well we're going to try this if it doesn't work then oopsie doodles. Treatment time, treatment time. Let's do some treatment of you. Wow, is that what is that thing? Okay. <laughs> Apparently, uh, that didn't actually do very much of anything. Turn on the mouth. Mouth is on. Set frequency of five thousand. 
Five thousand. Flip the on off switch nine times. Boom, baby. All right, he's cured. Congratulations. Treatment complete. 15K. What am I doing with my life? Yeah. Ugh. The stuff I've been eating. I have to straighten out my life, but I I can't return to my old life either. I'll find a way. Thank you for saving me. No problem. See you later. <laughs> See you later, rat man. Bye. Okay. Uh, how much time we got? 170? These are both equidistant. Delacroix has been known a new name in the splendors. For decades, he has delivered fine dresses and suits for both ladies and gentlemen. In the last year, he's been hiding, not speaking with anyone but his assistant. Ooh, that seems worrying. And this is the guy who's a professional dancer, but he's been neglecting his work since his mother passed away. Um... I think we're going to visit this guy first because he's, uh, no, mm. Mm. we're going to go to him first because he's been like, it's been more immediate with him. We can take uh, a little bit of time to, since one is being a recluse deemed insane. I don't know. I'm just going by this game statistics. Oh, a mind scanner. I, uh, I did not expect this. Did mother send for you? Well, come inside. Okay, let's do a mind scan for you. Bop, 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 bop. The hands of mother. Those hands always make me calm. Uh, loves his mother. Eek! A ghost or something. Next image. Uh, frail. Looks a bit like my ballet teacher. A strong woman. Mother is also strong. Uh, respects authority. But yeah, if I had my way, I'd be a recluse as well. So there's that. Glenn thinks his mother is alive and spends all his time caring for her. He's a submissive and nervous. Great passion for dancing, but can't maintain his work as long as he's trapped in the clutches of his dead mother. Insane. Everybody's insane here. Oh, wow. Okay. I want to know what those personality types mean. Um, okay, great. Uh, can, huh? This is the Bates Motel guy? Yep, he sure is. He definitely thinks his mom is alive. Oh, well, you're probably right. Mother has always told me I need to be more focused. I know I can do better, doctor. Please show me how. You got it, bud. But first, we're going to get some of these pills here for you. Let's see. What does this one do? Moves any insanity points? What, this is a stress bar. Uh, can I, this is a stress one. Block stress of your patient for some time. Okay. We'll put the stress one here. And then we'll use that. I don't have enough money to really develop anything else. So I'm just going to go with what I got for right now. So we're going to treat you, buddy. We're going to give you some pills. So your stress stays there. Are you sure this thing is safe? Yes. I took seven of them before I got here. Norman. Yes. Yes. Norman Bates. Okay. Oh, I got to work. I got to fucking work. Okay. Uh, this one. Okay. What do we got? We got CTC. CTC. Boom. Okay. We got this one here. Boop. Okay. Frequency of 25,000. 25,000. Turn off the device. Flip the on-off switch nine times. Flip the on-off switch six times. What's the point of that? Set rhythm to three. Turn off the mouth. Turn on the left eye. Turn off the right eye. Bushki. Set frequency of 100,000. Bam. Rhythm to zero. He's got no rhythm. Turn on the red eye. I don't understand these machines or how they work, but uh, they, de they definitely work. Okay, we got T-U-T. -T. Okay. Bam, baby. And we got, I guess we're going to have to go with this one. 
So we got the oh, not enough time. Time's up. Workday is ended. Citizen requires further treatment. I know. I know. Damn time runs too fast. Runs too damn fast. That's okay. We'll get him situated. He's almost out of personality points. We're going to have to get that uh, corrected. Going to lock your personality in place. Hello, doctor. Come in and sit down. I was just making a cup of tea for mother. Would you like a cup? Yeah, of course. Fine flavor of lavender. Glenn smiles as his stress level lowers. Oh, nice. We did a good thing by sipping the tea from him. There you go. What on earth is that? It's a drug. He didn't have much of a personality to start with. Well, he probably has worse one without uh, this stuff. Uh, let's do this. And we're going to set it to this one. Arg, sorry. Yeah, this thing is definitely a lot slower. Sorry, buddy. Here, take one of these. Oh, crap. I can only lock one or the other. No more drugs. No, no, no. More drugs. Yes, I know. Damn it. All right, we got you, buddy. There you go. Enjoy. <laughs> Treatment complete. Yay, we did it. And you still have personality. I did not realize Mother is dead. She's been dead all this time, and I don't know what got into me. Thank you for curing me, Doctor. I'll visit Mother at the em at the Embering Funeral Home. The M the Embering Funnel from now on. What the fuck is the Embering Funnel? I guess we'll find out. All right, time to go to this guy. Wait, what does this person say? L.F. Zinsky is the writer of the best-selling book series, Tales from the Outer Zone. Lately, his imagination has led to an obsession of his own creations. You know what? I'm going to go with you first, because I feel like you're still more of a danger than the other one. And we're in the same building, so I won't have to travel very far if I get done with you soon. Well, well, well. What, charming what a charming appearance. You've got confidence, haven't you, darling? I suppose we're going to tell my fortune now? Hmm. Be quick about it. There are two Zoxons heading this way. <laughs> that's all right. <laughs> that's, that's for true. Goat-like beasts in leather armor. Vicious soldiers from Darrow Fields. Hmm. I think we avoided them. Good. You were saying? I think it's time for a mind scan. That's what I was saying. Inside of my old closet. My parents' closet, I mean. Zinsky Sr. often lost his temper. Some of my best work started inside that closet. One time, a portal opened, but I did not dare to venture inside. Oh, escapist. A sandstorm, the kind that you experience from out south of here, in the Cravel Barrens. No man should ever suffer this. The sand will tear your skin right off your bones, and they want me out of there on a secret mission. Shh. Okay, so you uh, okay, is scared of the outside. So you got that agoraphobia going on. Rionic debris, the kind that you scrape off of an engine after interstellar travel. That stuff is highly explosive if you don't know what you're doing. I don't know how it got stuck in my oven, but I need help cleaning it, clearing it. Um, delusional. Yeah. Fiction has taken up residence in the frontal lobe of Zinsky, crowding out reality. He suffers the dangerous and antisocial conviction that his stories are real. Insane! I think this is what it meant when it said, like, the easy setting was just everybody's insane. I don't think I've run across the same person yet in this game. Fictomaniac. So we got those three types. Let me just take a look at what kind of stuff I got for that. Let's just take a look real quick. 
Too much sanity may be madness, and maddest of all, to see the life as it is and not as it should be. Indeed. Indeedly doodly. Uh, this one is the one that he needs. 40 seconds. I guess we could spare that. Shows a blood sample. Confirm the match. Combine to get a match. Displays current shape. Oh. Okay. What kinds we got here? This guy, cross guy, and not this guy. So we'll put this one back. And... No, nope, I'm going to keep that. Just in case. He has 14 types. That's friggin' wild. Okay, let's get a move on. Let's do the thing. Treatment time, treatment time. Don't you do that treatment now, man. Okay. Are you sure this thing is safe? Yes, I'm very sure. I'm a doctor. Or something like that. Okay, you get all the drugs now, okay? Just take those, and uh, we'll get the move on here, okay? All right, let's see. We got TCU. CU. Boom, baby. Okay. Ooh, that's a lot of those in a row. What do we got here? CUU. U. U. -U. Okay, and then we'll do this one next. Now, this is a new machine, so uh, be careful. Uh, you know, we got to make sure we uh, do the thing right. What am I What am I doing here with this? I, I don't understand what I'm doing here. Oh! Nope, that's right. Cool. Circle... Okay, here we go. All right, we're going to run out of time for the day. Time's up. Workday's ended. Okay, here we go. We're going to go back home, and then we're going to come back the next day and take care of you, and then do the rich guy, and yeah. You see your daughter trapped in a sea of wires. All right. You receive a letter from Glenn Starr. Open the letter. Dear doctor, thank you so much. Here are two tickets for Mountains Beyond, my upcoming show at the Sphere. Okay. I'm not going to go. Incoming fax ID number 34424. Do not share. Do not discuss. Do not question. Hey, you guys aren't supposed to be looking at this. Oh, well, I, I, I can trust you. The pulse is on the rise. This vicious illness develops in the carrier as a compounded force, similar to an electrical current. This disruptive force can be released on purpose or accidentally due to an instability. Either way, the results are catastrophic and should be stopped at all costs. Costs. Hmm. Interesting. So people can have electronic illnesses. The Faraday program is our newest effort at the Zy... The Z I'm going to say Zignoka. Zignoka uh, Institute is created to eliminate the pulse. We are currently examining five carriers of the pulse known as the disruptors. If you encounter any disruptors or any signs of the pulse, report uh, to us immediately. Okay, you got it. Uh, the Faraday program is our best defense against the pulse. Earn a level three citizenship, and you too can join the Faraday program for normality and the mind, the structure. Okay. Finally found a way to eliminate the pulse. Those disruptors must be stopped before they destroy the Zignoka based all Zignoka based machines. Huh? Yes, I am worried. I am running on Zignoka myself. You know, heck, the whole city is. Well, back to work, scanner. Okay, let's finish off this guy and then we'll get to why are you over here now? That's not cultist sounding at all. No. No, not at all. We don't do that here. If you don't mind me asking, which of my books is your favorite? If you had to choose, of course, The Exiles of Zolioth Temple or Blast Off a Brigadier General Dick Cobalt Adventure. I'm going to go with that one. Ha! The energetic type, are we? Then what did you think of the opening act? Be honest, Cobalt's decision to accept the duel was a bit of a stretch, no? Not at all. That's what I like to hear. When you think about it, Cobalt would never help the Outer Belt's cruiser fleet if he was never if he was not entrusted by the Duke's daughter. Go big or go home, I say. 
Yeah, exactly. Exactly what you say. Now let's treat that insanity of yours. First, we're going to give you some pills. Okay, easy now. No, 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 no. I'm the doctor here. Okay, I'm the, I'm the doctor. Uh, we got TCT, I think it was. Hold on. My laundry is done. So I need to go and get it. But I'm doing these first. Okay, now we got this vocal cord thing. Okay, you ready? Ah. Uh... I was rushing a little bit there at the beginning. All right, we got rid of those three. Got one more of those. All right, that did drain his uh, wrong device. Insanity type not found. Okay, that's fine. Yes, I will change that. Okay. TCT. He's almost out of personality. We like gotta stop. Okay, that's great. I don't want to continue. I can't continue because he's like, and treatment for today, yes. We're going to come back, but, like, I don't want to... He's he's so low, you know? And I got to buy more drugs anyway. Okay, we're done with that. Um... I don't think we can go back once we told him that we're done. This guy's too far away, so we're just going to end out the day here. Okay, yes, we're going to end the day. I'm going to take a short break so I can go and grab my laundry really quick. And we will be back just in, in just a little bit. So stay tuned. I'm going to throw up my back screen. Bam. And I'll be back in a moment. Thank you. 
All right, folks, I'm back. Thank you for your patience. I needed to make another quick pit stop while I was, uh, you know, out and about. So we are going to pause this music. Um, in about, um, in just a little bit, we're going to be, uh, we're going to be taking just another little break so I can go and do mic check with the rest of the what's left of us crew. Uh, I'm glad that you're enjoying the music sly once again. If you are interested in joining us for what's left of us, which is the D and D campaign that I partake in with, uh, all of my friends, you know, Zoe B thought slime, wild jinx, J corn and starfish face. Uh, at two o'clock, we're going to be switching over to their channel. Um, if it, he's not broadcasting on Twitch, then I will probably just rebroadcast the, uh, the stream from YouTube and, uh, yeah, we'll do it that way. Anyway, back to the game. Gilbert Rhodes has reached out to us and says, I'm so happy. I got a new job. I figured, Hey, I know the sewers like no one else. So I applied to be a sewage worker. They were so impressed that they put me in charge of redesigning the infrastructure. That's amazing. Congratulations, Gilbert. I was an architect before my uh, life crisis. But still, can you believe it? <laughs> and the other guys I work with are so friendly. You helped me so much, doctor. I sent you something to show my gratitude. Okay, thank you. You open the package. It's a painting of you saving the rodent. It's a really nice painting. Looking at it gives you a boost of energy. Yay, we got more time. All right, love that. All right, let's go back to this guy. We got to save his personality. Mr. Zinsky, I should probably check out these people too and make sure they're not like in much more dire circumstances than this guy. Ah, my muse. Come, come. Okay, I'm here. Here, here, take some pills first. What is that? It's a pill. How, how are you not familiar with this? And we'll do this guy. Take some blood. Okay, we got the big pointy star. What? I don't have that many things on there. I guess this one. Uh... Oh, no, it's this one. I lied. Nice. Booshki. Look at that. All done. Give me your $15 redos. Well, it's a brave new world. Guess I'm going to have to work a little harder to make things up. But that's what they call work. That's why they call it work, right? It, yep, sure is. That's exactly why they call it work. Okay, what we got here? Ms. Simmons is an effective faculty leader at the university psychology department. Her theories have often been questioned, but it's getting difficult to distinguish madness from method. Oh. In his youth, little Johnny Day showed great potential as the youngest ever winner of the quiz show. Flip the switch. Lack of stimulation has made him erratic. We're going to go to you first because you've been waiting the longest. And then we're going to go kind of in order. Delacroix lives in a penthouse apartment. After taking the elevator to the top floor, you knock on the door. You wait a while. Knock again. You knock once more and listen carefully. You hear someone inside. Please open. No. Please go away. You're not real. I'm a mind scanner. A mind scanner? P prove it. Write your ID number on this paper. Okay. He slides a small piece of paper under the door. You write your ID and pass it through again. After a while, he unlocks the door. You're real? I'm terribly sorry. I'm, I'm not used to visitors. You must excuse me. I'm trembling. That's okay. You're fine. It's okay. As his eyes catch yours, he pauses. You feel a burning passion behind the eyes of, his, of this tormented man. He looks away and you help him get to his feet. So... Tell me why you're here, Scanner. You heard of my ghost stories? I'll participate in a mind scan if you promise to be careful. I'm a fragile soul. Okay. Let's do it. My sewing room. It's next to my bedroom. Almost every night, I hear a tapping from this room. The first time I went to check in, five or six of my dresses were dancing. Uh, hallucinating. Ah... The glass murex. I used to go there often. Excellent seafood. You know, they import their fish from the outer zone. 
I don't go out any longer. I'm afraid I'll make a fool of myself with these apparitions. Uh, ashamed of hallucinations. Arg, The goat crone. My mom told me this fairy tale when I was a child. She's a ghost that haunts and eats children who misbehaves. Please, she's terrifying. Next image. His mother ate children? Oh, no. Pirate! Arg! The goat crone! My mom told me this fairy tale when I was a child. She is a ghost that haunts and eats children who misbehaves. Please, she's terrifying. Next image. I'm going to say bad influence. Did you get the, the desired effect from me reading that in Pirate? Delacroix suffers from hallucinations, or ghosts as he calls them. Though he's quite aware of these ghosts are not real, they continue to haunt him, terrorizing his life and work. Insane! Good. That mom was definitely a bad influence, for sure. I don't think she probably realized how much of an influence that ghost story would have on him. But yeah, I knew this much, but I'm nervous about the treatment. I hope it doesn't trigger any apparitions. Okay, well, guess what? It might. Let me see if I have enough stuff in my tools here. Just buy some more of these for you. Blocks of stress. Yeah, we'll buy a few more of those. This one removes any insanity point of any type. Uh, I'm going to leave that for now. He has 11 insanity types. Uh, let's see. We got this ladder guy. We got the cross guy. And we got... Oh, these are all the same ones. Okay, cool. We're good then. I think we can just roll with this. All right, time to go. So we're going to start your treatment. First, I'm going to give you this, uh, this, this drugs. Be careful with that thing. Yeah, no, don't worry. No, I know what I'm doing. I know. TCT. CT. Here we go. This one is UTT. TT. Okay. And we got this one. TUC. Nope. Let's see. Of course, she ate children. Yeah, that was pretty bad influence, right? All right, here we go. You ready? You're going to sing for me, okay? Yeah, good job. Check out this pitch, buddy. Look at you. You're just raising that that tone. Great job. Oh, yes. Yeah, open that pretty little mouth. Now, now. We don't want to get a pervy here. All right, what kind of blood do we got? That kind? I don't know if I got that kind. That one. Booshki. I think that's the right one. Cool. Then we got only three left. All right. Well, time's up, so I'm going to have to go and uh, come back to you a little bit later. <sighs> Maybe you don't want to get pervy. Well, you know. <laughs> you have received a package from Mr. Zinsky. It's his latest book, Gladiators of Hillwalk Crevasse. You flip open the first page. The onyx dagger is a treacherous weapon. If handled well, it can penetrate even the sturdiest lizard scale cuirass. But strike at the wrong angle and it breaks at the hilt. Not unlike the swordsmaster herself, Gianna noted. Strong, limber, and with a single purpose. Okay. Good to know. Mind scanner, you have accumulated 205 science. At this juncture, it is my privilege to congratulate you on your level 2 citizenship. Yay! Being a level 2 citizen comes with many perks, free parking, access to better vegetables, and don't forget, become a level 3 citizen to get access to the Zignaka Institute. Cool. Well, let's go back to him. Does this have any, like, updates on her? 
Okay, so it's just the same. Okay, it's fine. Better vegetables. You know, I designed for the you know, I designed for the constructor. I made the wall day dress, the blue one. I have a natural passion for high-ranked people of the structure. Ministers, officials, mind scanners. Okay, don't get too flirty with me, buddy. I can make you a dress. Would you like that? Yeah, sure, why not? I'm totally open to that. Good. I have the fabric and the dress is simple, so I could have it done by tomorrow morning. Now, I know you're busy, but it takes, uh, it takes time to do all the measurements, so I've decided to pay you. Oh, and another thing. You'll have to stay here for the night to keep the ghosts away. Would 10 kapok be sufficient? It would cover your maintenance. Sure! You walk into his studio. The room is lit with a soft, almost natural light. Every corner is decorated with the most intricate dresses and elegant suits. He asks you to take off your uniform and step up on the platform. Okay. The silence slowly fades with the sound of cellos. He looks at you from every angle, taking notes and sketching in a little book. With a gentle touch, his large hands measure your waist, your chest, your neck. He is going to get pervy, I can tell. I believe that a dress must have a spiritual bond with the one who wears it. I will design the dress for you and no one else. Look at me, doctor. Look into my eyes. We need to get close. Do you want this? Do I want this, chat? Do I want this? I don't know if I do. I think I'm going to move away. Ah, I understand. Not everyone desires a Delacroix. Let us focus on my treatment. It's not that. It's that I don't want you putting your hands on me in a way that's not professional. What on earth is that? You already know. We just brought it out yesterday. It's the sing-song box. You want me to do... Oh, I'm sorry. I would have done it if I had known... All right, this guy, we got, we got T-U-T. -T. Next time I get a pervy guy, I will, uh, I will do pervy stuff. Okay, it's 140, so I got to get ready here. Uh, wrong thing. There we go. Blood, lots of blood under starry skies above. Don't fence me in. There we go. Treatment complete. I think I feel... I don't know exactly. Perhaps a little less anxious? I really hope this worked, Doctor. We'll see. I'll call you tomorrow, alright? I'll try and get some rest before I continue on my suits. By the way, you did all my measurements and stuff like that, so feel free to like give me the fucking dress. <laughs> okay. After, after you saw that passion in his eyes, it just seemed right. Hey, you know what? <laughs> I don't want to get taken off of this goddamn platform well maybe okay um i'm gonna take a short break here so that i can go and talk to uh to all the people in my group and then we will uh we'll resume the game so uh give me one moment and i will return uh just to just uh just a couple minutes here yes uh, be right back boop
Is, is that Megaron from, from Megaron TV? It is. <laughs> Baddest of boys. I'm the bad boy of streaming. Oh my god. Oh wait, are I have some. Hold on. Are you illegally multi-streaming? I am illegally multi-streaming. Oh my god. <laughs> go. Oh, I had I had the tab minimized. Six sunglasses, bro. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay. Here. Take a oh, screenshot, yeah. it'll last longer. Hell yeah! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> oh my god. Bad boy. <laughs> yep, yep. From, so from the tough side of town? Oh yeah! From the tough side of town. Speaking from the of, tough side of town, like, we're the cool patrol? Tough side of town. Uh, so, James, we're definitely doing bad boys. Yeah, well, I mean, I am, you are. Uh, I don't yeah. know about eggs. Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, Star, yeah, you said you were going to be busy me. this week, right? I'm busy this week, because I'm that's Phoenix awesome. writing this week. Absolutely. But yeah, that's I generally cool. do art streams on Monday, and I've been doing, like, Phoenix Wright Fridays for the foreseeable future. Um, but pretty much any other night, I need I need coaching. I need will, to learn how to do a ghost hunt so that I don't make an ass of myself when I play it solo with a friend. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so the, the Friday times that I gave you uh, would be okay if it wasn't for Phoenix, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, it's like, theoretically, if you start late enough, I could do both, but I worry for like, my we, voice if I'm streaming that long. Yeah, we, we do start late, but, like, you need a break. You've done, like, stuff and then other stuff. Yeah. All right, and we're back. Thank you for your patience. I uh, I am glad that you were able to uh, hear Star and the you know that you let me know because that meant that I could try to turn the the volume off of there. <laughs> I don't know if you continue to hear Star after that, but I tried to turn the volume off so that you wouldn't be able to hear us in our private conversation where we were saying stuff that you should not hear. <laughs> it wasn't really that serious though. I'm pretty sure they were just arranging plans. Anyway, <laughs> we're getting back into this mind scanning thing. We got about uh, 15 minutes left until the game starts. Probably going to be about eight minutes. We got time for like one more patient and then we're going to switch on over and uh, we'll send it on over to Jay at Jay Corn TV. Yes, yes. Okay, good. So this whole like app based thing does not actually work the way that I thought it would. Good to know. Good to know. Okay. Glad that I got out of there before everybody else showed up. Okay, okay. Good to know. Good to know. 
All right. Uh, what do we got here now? We're going to... Um, oh God, what the hell was I doing? Oh, yeah, I'm turning off my music real quick. This is why you use pretzel, guys. Hi, I seem to have developed a system of hallucinations. As these things go, it's very difficult to know where reality starts and hallucinations end. Are you real? Yes! Hmm. Okay. You're a mind scanner. I, I see. I was afraid this might happen. I appreciate the concern, but I have this under control. My insanity is self-induced. It's part of my research. You can leave now. No, I'm going to stay. Mind scan time. Oh, it's acting up. Your device seems to be malfunctioning. All I see are the wires inside and the Zinyaka charge. Oh, maybe it's just me? It's difficult to know what's real and, and, and these days. Okay, so you are a bomb specialist. No. Okay. The neocortex stimulator. It's almost never used in practice these days. I knew I could have, if I, I knew that if I used it on myself, I, it could have the desired effects. Force hallucinations. Voluntary psychosis. Yeah, she's a bomb specialist. Honestly, I need more Phoenix, right? I'm highly invested in her latest case. Okay, look, I'll tell you what. Once I finish this game, I'll start doing the Phoenix Wright cases. Sound good? Good to me. The first mind scanner research group. It's where I came up uh, with... It's where we came up with your job. I left very quickly and I realized uh, they saw it as a mechanical problem. Skeptical of tech. All right, cool. Erotic fantasies. Hmm. This reminds me of a week ago when all the animals came to me. All the birds and lizards of the outer zone. They gathered around me. What a beautiful sight it was. False, perhaps, but beautiful. A bomb special with erotic fantasies. She's like, danger, danger. High voltage. When we touch. Or when we kiss. Okay. Um, druid? Hmm. sees things. I think that's the most obvious one. Out of empathy for the afflicted and to further research, Simmons has subjected herself to self-induced psychosis. However deliberate, her hallucinatory state is unacceptable for a faculty leader. Insane! Synthetical. Amount 12 types these three. I really don't know what those mean. I would like to know. Okay, so we got ladder... Sort of ladder and other ladder thing. A druid bomb specialist with erotic fantasies. Yes, uh, you know, it really puts a different spin on the phrase bear form. Like, I don't know that. The question is not whether someone is insane, but how dangerous they are to themselves or society. So what's next? Will you brainwash me with those primitive machines? Yes! It sounds like my D&D &D character? No, it sounds like a character I should... Oh, my next D&D &D character. Well, yeah, of course. Okay, here we go. We got those ones there. Got this guy here. What kind of blood we got? We got uh, that guy, Splorchy. Splorchy the bear. There it is. That's right. Okay, I don't think I have the correct machine for that one. Oh, this one's tough. Nope, that looks right. Okay. Ladder boy. U T U. T U. I think for research purposes, I'm going to make note of that. Yeah, there you go. Why not? Um, we got the cross thing. No, that's a different thing entirely. This guy. More blood. We got the four X, the four pointed one. There we go. I mean, that will help me keep track of what D&D character I want to make later, so. Uh, let's see. We got UTC. No! Uh, bummer. Workday's over. Sucks to suck. Okay. What time is it now? It is 1.52. You are truly astounding. It worked. Your treatment worked. For the first time in a year, I had a full night's sleep. Okay. I cannot thank you enough, doctor. Here's a little extra payment. 
Farewell. I owe you everything. Thanks. Do you have my dress? Today's news. Another incident of the pulse occurred today at Jack's Noodle Diner in the Boots. An oven exploded as one of the chefs was preparing a meal. Luckily, no one was hurt. The owner, Jack Francis, comments, If I'd known there was a jammer, I would never have hired him. The disruptor has been arrested. Cool. All right, well, that's going to do it for us here right now. I don't know if I can save this or not, or how I save it for that matter. Um, but I'm going to assume that it's an autosave, and if we have to do this over again, well, you know what? That makes perfect sense to me. Why not? Okay. Um, but yes, I'm going to go and throw it over to Jacorn. I just want to make sure really quick that he is live. Maybe. I don't actually know. I'm going to take a look really quick. It looks like he is, in fact, live. So we are going to throw it over to twitch.tv slash jcorntv. You should all join me. And uh, we will wait just for a moment as uh, as that starts. And, uh, you know, after the stream, I may be back for a little bit uh, because uh, Star is going to stream, like, later as well. Um, and uh, I might want to be the go-between between those two shows as well. So, uh, so stay tuned. Uh, we will be going uh, uh, back to back to this uh the maybe in a little bit but uh thank you everybody for showing up so early sly you have an extensive list including the one i have oh okay well you know what it's important to have notes but uh thank you everybody for watching this first session of mind scanners thank you for stopping by for your first session and uh stay tuned like i said if you're on twitch we're gonna go raid jcorn tv um yeah talk to you guys in a little while Goodbye, everybody. Oh, and if you would uh, also like to join and you're not on you're not on Twitch, click on that link to the card channel. Okay, go and uh, go and do that right uh, right away. Just uh, immediately, immediately go and do that thing. Okay, I'm definitely not just vamping so that I can get to the Twitch page so that I can confirm the raid and send y'all over. Okay, I'm not doing that. I'm definitely not definitely not doing that. Okay. Definitely not. Okay, thank you guys. Talk to you later. Goodbye.